26 and week number 3 of our record 90 SP2 this week is all about vision hi everyone welcome to channel IRS let's go in life we always have a target so when we're kids our target is the tasty cone of ice cream when we're teenagers our target is the nice car and of course nice lady when we're growing up our target is more expensive cars more expensive houses and more expensive toys when you are a racing driver your target is straight line braking points braking distance acceleration points turning in points apex points exit points and again again lap after lap so when you racing driver circuit for you is a one big target which you split into many many small different targets and all the targets we gather and go through with our vision lots of racing drivers dispel their vision everywhere and this is the main problem why they can't get fastest lap times so how racing vision works for example you see this road people drive this road from home to work and back home some of them drive every day some of them maybe once a week some of them maybe twice a day but if you ask these drivers do they remember every bump every surface difference on this road they're gonna say you know but if you ask racing driver does he remember on the circuit every corner every tarmac changes every layout changes every bump he's gonna say you yes because this what makes him quicker with his vision he gather all that information and save it in his brain and this way he goes every lap quicker and quicker and quicker and every new lap he gathering new information with every weather changes with every truck condition changes racing driver gathering more and more and more information and he has to save it and he has to use it when the racing driver looks forward he also can see what's happening on a side but he never do like this he always look forward always in front of him and always at that point where he want to be more he practice better his side vision so the main rule of vision always look in front of you this way you will gather more information you will remember more details and this way lap after lap you will be faster than the other drivers you can practice your vision every day every moment and anywhere because you don't need something special for that for example you walking to school or to work or to university so everything what you do you're looking in, in front of you and with your side vision you are gathering information which happening around you if you driver and you're driving every day it's even better so again you are looking only in front of you and with your side vision you gather information around you and at the end of your journey you just repeat what happened during that journey vision and sport or sport and vision it doesn't matter who first who second they both help to develop each other so today vision and we do vision exercises with the football let's go well actually any sport can help you to develop your vision because any sport has a target and you have to concentrate your vision on that target so it might be 
to be a winner of the race or it might be to be the best football player, basketball player uh, or any, any other sport. And today we're going to develop our vision with the simple football exercises. So first what we're going to do, we're going to juggle a ball with our foot. Next, we're going to juggle it on the knee. Keep a ball in the air and for that use only your head, like this. This way, you're even gonna develop your vision much better. Now, what we're gonna do in next exercise? We're gonna put the ball here on a goalkeeper white line, and we're gonna try to hit that post. So, this way we're gonna be first of all concentrated on the ball, and then our concentration is gonna move to that post. And this way we're going to develop our vision on a two different objects. Right, now we're going to move ball position at the furthest goalkeeper line, the next white line. And now we will try to hit the bar. Oh, let's try it. So you see, with the simple and exciting exercises, you can develop your vision. Honestly, I want to do some more. Corner number two. This is the best corner to practice your vision. Why? Let me quickly explain you what is it vision of racing driver. Racing driver he every time thinks step ahead and he every time look step ahead so when racing driver approaching exit of turn one he is already thinking about breaking point of turn two and when he approaching breaking point for turn two he is already thinking about turning in point for turn two the same happens when he approaches turn two, he's thinking about apex. When he approaching apex, he think about the exit. When he approach the exit, he think about the next corner, braking, entry, apex, exit. So every time racing driver, his vision, one step ahead, or two or three steps ahead. This is depends on a racing driver skills. The more professional driver, further his vision. Now, why corner two is the best for practicing your vision? Everything starting at the corner number one apex. This part from the apex to the exit of corner number one is up the hill. So you can't see the entry of point number two unless you are completely at the exit point of number one. This is where your vision is further than you can see. And even when you are at the exit of turn number one, you still can't see where exactly breaking point and where exactly turning in point because you're still moving slightly up the hill. Only when you're somewhere in the middle of this straight, this is where you can see properly 
your breaking point and your turning in point. Corner number two has few different racing lines and each racing driver prefers his own racing line. I've seen some racing drivers, they're turning in earlier, they touch earliest apex and then they touch second late apex. And because after corner number two, we have straight away hairpin number three, so exit of corner number two is inside of the corner. So that means on the right hand side. They slow down enough to keep the go-kart on the right hand side. So they're not going too quick, uh, because if you go too quick, you will lose your racing line. That means it will push you to the left hand side and uh, you will have to go back on the right to be prepared for corner number three. And this way you will make your distance longer. Some of the racing drivers, they prefer to brake later, turn in later and hit only the latest apex. So here they have to brake hard on a straight, as hard as possible, finish braking, turn in and aim only for the latest apex. So they touch apex only in one spot, latest apex. And then they stay inside of the corner because they slow down a lot uh, at the beginning. And because they turn in later, so they have enough space to keep their cart inside of the corner and be prepared for corner number three. At the entry of the corner number two, this is where you use your side vision. Because racing driver, he always looks forward. He never drive with, uh, with his head turning like this or like this. He never looks on the sides. He looks forward, straight ahead. And uh, for turning in points, when he approaching the turning in point, racing driver don't turn his head, he use his side vision. That's what you need to develop, your side vision. And you use your side vision around every single corner on the circuit. If you every day develop your vision, straight vision, side vision, your mental vision. So when you're coming for a practice session, you will see you're going to be quicker, quicker and quicker. So remember, vision is another key to fastest laps. Day 72 and we at Daytona Sandon Park. We're here for practice session. The weather conditions is amazing. So I want to see what lap times I can do right now.
20 and this is the end of week number three this week we spoke about vision and I think we found a lot of interesting stuff about racing vision and we found physical exercises which we need to do for to develop your vision also this week I had one practice session at Daytona Sandan Park uh, the lap times for the first dry session was quite impressive 47 seconds flat also just yesterday I had one more race at Daytona Sandan Park and it was a championship AK Max Cup but about this championship I will make short separate video and I'll post it a bit later in the middle of the next week so guys this is it this is it for week number three and let's move forward to the week number four and as usually small surprise at the end see ya the difficult part of, of driving a Formula 1 car is understanding the, the technology understanding the car we have so firstly we have 1,300 people in our team to make two of those cars for the year it's a big team and everything's built in pretty much everything's built in house um, every year it's brand new stuff it's it's just so high tech it's fascinating for me to see the car coming together at the beginning of the year it's like a newborn baby it's it's just I'm just mind blowing and then through the year it's progressing the whole time from race to race we've got 21 races so every weekend it's it's improving a tenth or two tenths or three tenths of a second which by the end of the year it obviously adds up to a couple of seconds faster <laughs> Mm-hmm.